guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make a dupe of the miel rosemary and mint oil so we all know there's been a ton of drama surrounding this oil i made a video explaining all the tea how the company small is black owned and just a whole bunch of controversy so a lot of you guys are saying hey can you please just make a dupe since the oil is being sold out everywhere and i just don't know what to do i love this oil so i've come up with a formula that i think it will work very similar to this one it smells amazing it has rosemary it has mint as a bunch of essential oils and it's just an overall good oil and of course when you make your own products you get to make more because this oil comes in a two ounce and this one is a four ounce all the ingredients i'm going to be sharing today are going to be listed in the description below they're all going to be in my amazon storefront now of course the initial investment in getting all these ingredients is going to cost you anywhere from like 20 to 40 dollars but it's going to make you like 10 15 batches of this oil so it's like a one-time investment and you're done versus having to buy this one a bunch of times and the price is going up it's currently i think 10.99 when i bought this one so this one overall is a lot cheaper all right guys so if you're interested to see how i make this dupe definitely keep watching before we get started make sure you give this video a thumbs up please subscribe button put your notifications on so you don't miss any of my uploads follow me on tiktok and instagram for daily content and check out my hair care line with my own herbal infused oil if you are interested in that all right guys let's get started okay so first i had to take a look at this oil and of course i saw that the main ingredients were rosemary and mint i also noticed that they had like a crap ton of other oils in this but obviously we're not going to use all these because this is a diy it's supposed to be easy so when i actually like played with the oil i noticed that it was lightweight but a little bit thicker than i expected so it's like in between lightweight and moderately lightweight which is why i don't know why certain people were using it but anyway so we're gonna start off with some rosemary leaves um i got this from amazon again everything will be in the description and i just thought for a second it was funny how it has calories and i was like oh wait rosemary is also like a seasoning so so we're just gonna pour it into the bowl and you're gonna see me make a mess in this video but it's okay because we're gonna clean as we go even though I typically just wait to the last minute to do all that but we're gonna do it for the sake of the video, okay? And you're gonna see my phone peek through throughout this video because I'm also trying to film this for TikTok and Instagram so don't mind me but this is what it looks like. Close up, just regular rosemary leaves. Then we are going to go in with some dried peppermint leaves. I didn't even realize I was getting a bag this big because it didn't cost that much, which is good, I guess. And we're just going to pour that in there. I didn't realize that it was spilling like this so after I poured it, so that's kind of embarrassing. And this whole oil is customizable, so if you don't want to use the actual herbs, you can simply use peppermint oil and rosemary oil. It's perfectly fine. So like I said, this oil was on the lightweight side, so we're going to go in with some almond oil, which I love using as a base for oils on my website. It's super lightweight, and it's just a really good oil overall. It's pretty common in a lot of oils that you see, not only DIY, but also in the stores. And then we're going to pair that with some sunflower oil, which is also lightweight. Both of these oils are our carrier oils, so we're going to be using more of these oils than any others. And I didn't measure any of this, to be honest, but I'm going to try to do my best to give you an idea. Next, we're going to go in with some ajoba oil, which is a thicker oil. It's kind of a little bit looser than olive oil, if that kind of gives you an idea. And we're going to use half as much of ajoba oil as we did the other two oils. And finally, we're going to go in with argan oil, and that will cap off all of our carrier oils. We're going to use the same amount of that as we did the ajoba oil, because these are like in-between carrier oils and essential oils, if that makes sense. Okay, so now let's do the essential oils. So honestly, for me, I feel like tea tree oil is a must-have in any oil, especially on the scalp. It's so good for the scalp. Like any scalp products that I have on my website always has tea tree oil, so I'm gonna say that's necessary then we're gonna go in with lavender oil i love lavender oil it's an extremely common essential oil that a lot of people use so i would say that's kind of a must-have as well and now we're gonna go in with some lemongrass and some cedarwood oil these are just oils that i had left over when i was formulating my oil formulas and i decided not to use these so i'm just kind of like grabbing whatever i have and putting it in here 
but again this is all up to you and then lastly i'm going to go and use some eucalyptus oil which i've actually never used before but it was on the ingredients list on the meal oil so i decided to use it and honestly it smells so good i might have to start incorporating this into my actual hair products because i love this Okay, so we really want to let the rosemary and the mint infuse with the oil. So you can let this sit for 24 to 72 hours or really however long you want. Or you can speed up the process by adding heat, which is what I'm going to do. So we're going to use the double boiler method. I realized I had too much water in this pot, so I had to pour some out. Otherwise, the water would have spilled into the oil, which literally ruins it. And I'm going to let this sit on the stove on low heat for 30 to 60 minutes to really give it time to infuse. So I let mine sit on the stove for 45 minutes, but honestly, you can do like 30 minutes and then let it sit off the heat for a couple of hours. Or if you're not ready to use it, you can just let it sit for a couple more days. The longer, really the better. Okay, so now it's time to strain the oil, and I would recommend getting a cheesecloth, but I forgot, so I'm gonna use a paper towel. Also, if you have like a strainer that you use like for washing rice or something like that, that will also work fine. So I made the mistake of squeezing the paper towel to get like all the oil out and the paper towel ended up breaking and so some of the herbs got into the oil and I tried my best to fix it like I even tried to use the spoon to scoop out the herbs but I realized it just made it worse so I ended up just having to go back in and repeat that with straining it with another paper towel to remove all that extra herbs. <laughs> So now all that's left to do is to put our oil in the bottle. So I'm using this four ounce dropper bottle that I have. When I was formulating my products, I thought I wanted to do four ounce oil. So I had these extra ones lying around that I bought. And I'm also gonna use a funnel, which I also got on Amazon. Again, everything will be linked. And we're just gonna pour the oil into the bottle. You wanna make sure when you fill this up, you stop at that curve at the top. Otherwise, if you fill it too high, when you put the dropper in, it's going to overflow. So I actually fill it up too high and I had to pour some out. And y'all, I'm really proud of myself because look how good this looks. And when I tried it out, it was very similar to the consistency of the miel oil. It was lightweight, but still had that level of thickness and it smelled so good. And I wish the miel oil was clear so we can do a side by side, but I think we did good. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. That's how you make a dupe of the Miel Rosemary and Mint oil. Again, this oil smells so amazing. It smells so good. To me, like I said, I am not a huge fan of rosemary, so I love how this one has equal amounts of rosemary and mint. It just smells beautiful. And I have a ton of extra ingredients that I can make so many more batches with if I desire. If you have any questions or comments, make sure that you leave them below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button with your notifications on if you like videos like this and want more uploads. If you would like me to make more DIY hair stuff, definitely let me know. I can work on that. Just leave them in the comments what type of stuff you would like me to make, and I got you. Also, make sure you follow me on my TikTok and Instagram for daily content. And finally, go ahead and check out some of my own hair care products, including two oils I have on my website if you are interested. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Tell me what you're me.